CEO of Fufurpur Guyana Incorporated shared the NGO's vision for Guyana during his address at the launching of the Nutritional Enhancement Program in Region 6. Jalissa Hines reports. During his address at the launching of the Nutritional Enhancement Program Region 6 last Thursday, Chief Executive Officer of Food for the Poor Guyana Inc., Mr. Kent Vincent, highlighted Food for the Poor's vision for Guyana. Our work is not just um, in doing one thing. We <coughs> contribute to the society, development of society, by um, implementing a number of projects, animal husbandry projects. We have the housing project, general housing project. Last year we did um, a, a, over 100 houses. Um, and this year we're looking to do more. We have um, agro-processing projects, uh, agricultural pro um, projects, number of other initiatives to bring the poor out of poverty. We want to see our children in Guyana grow. As we sang the song earlier, um, You Raise Me Up, we want to see the children rise up to be able to contribute to society. Mr. Vincent went on to add, We are looking to continue to grow. We want to see um, not only feeding programs in this region, we, we're asking people who may have ideas for community development projects that are sustainable, that we can work with, that we can partner with, to be able to bring development to um, communities all across Guyana. That's what we're looking for. We want to see the poor, poor people be able to rise up and be able to help themselves, feed themselves, look after themselves, look after their children and their families. That's what Food for the Poor is about. Um, the, the, Motto of Food for the Poor is united in God's work. And I love it because it shows it's not we are doing it by ourselves. We depend on partners. He then encouraged business owners to collaborate with them to allow more contribution and development in the country. Big businesses that can give even more. And um, I'm throwing out a, a feel to them at this moment. We would like to be able to partner to do more, not only in um, in, in this initiative, but in other areas across that we um, work in. Housing program, we can do more in our housing if we have partners. We can do more in our outreach to bring food to areas of Guyana, which are hard to reach. Region 1, Region 8, um, Region 9, those are regions that are, it costs money to get things in there. And we try as best as we could. But if we have more partners, if we're able to collaborate with more people, people come on board with us. There's so much more that we can do together. We are glad for your support. You know, we take, the, we take some credit, but all the credit is not food for the poor. It's everyone here. Mr. Vincent disclosed these details about Food for the Poor Guyana Inc. I want to touch beyond the um, shores of Guyana because these projects are, are funded um, by the generosity of donors in the USA, in Canada, who send the funding here for these programs. I want us to continue to um, thank them. I want us to pray for them. I always encourage people to pray. Food for the Poor was founded on prayer. It was one man for the non food um, over 30, uh, almost 40 years now um, who, was, who was instrumental in having an experience of God and bringing food for the poor, birthing food for the poor from one person that serves over 17 countries in Latin, Latin America and the Caribbean and now expanding even further. In conclusion, he said, The work we do to help children is not only in feeding programs. We have um, in our distribution, we bring in uh, furniture, school supplies, teaching aids for schools across the country. Now, we, don't, we may not get enough to give to every school, but we channel it through the ministry and to schools that sometimes write us. Once we have um, items available, we were able to provide that assistance. We would like to see more programs that would benefit the young people and communities across Guyana. Food for the Poor Guyana Inc. collaborates with a number of stakeholders, including groups, churches, non-governmental and other organizations, children's and elderly homes throughout the 10 regions of Guyana that deal directly with the poor to satisfy their most urgent needs and encourage self-sufficiency. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.